fly away on my side, you should know that something's gonna happen to the summer. Do you wanna ride, baby? Look me in my eyes, please. Just don't be afraid, we can fly away. So they just fall in love. You don't have to rush if somebody, somebody, if somebody you can trust Fall in love, you don't have to rush if somebody, somebody, somebody I'm in trust. London Oh my gosh, I'm so tired I thought I'd be okay because I switching my sleep I feel like I've become pro at it from my night shifts, but like, oh my gosh. I think it's just the, the travel, the commute. I slept on the flight. It was like on and off because like I kept getting cramps on my ass. So right now it is 12 p.m. London, UK time. It is 7.28 a.m. in Toronto time. So I think right now I'm going to put some makeup on. I should wash my face. And then go to Tesco, which is like a, I, actually I don't even know, I think it might be like a shopper's version. Possibly find some lunch, definitely I need coffee. It's rainy today, so I don't really know what I want to do. I think I might, oh I think the sun's coming out. Let's show you my view, oh. So, it's, it's a little ghetto, a bit of a ghetto view. But it's okay. I'm only here for like two nights and then I gotta share the room with other people on the trip. I have two beds. I'm gonna sleep on that one because um, the feng shui is totally off if I'm gonna sleep facing the entrance. So that's a no-no. And then, I don't know what this is, but I like it. I can dump all my things here. You have the entrance and then we have the washroom here. So the toilet is like making a leaking sound, so I don't know how it's gonna be during nighttime. I might have to ask to switch rooms. Hopefully not. I'd rather not. But here I am. I am in London. I can't believe I'm here. There's so many different things, so many things that I wanna buy. This looks interesting. Ah. What else? Right now I am at Waitrose. A milky bar. Why is it so big? Holy Tony's. Yo, Tony. If anybody knows that reference. What's your name? Tony! Fuck you, Tony! Some giant buttons. This looks good. I think I might try one, maybe. And the dark chocolate. Yum. Wild. I was walking the streets when I was coming to the hotel and I'm just like, I can't believe I'm here. It's so different. Um, already with like the different terms here in London is already a bit different like I don't think they say washrooms or bathrooms I think like on the signs it all says toilets like legit straight to the point toilets and then they don't say takeout or to go they say takeaway <laughs> like a girl I already had um, an Americano at the airport and the girl was like is this for takeaway? And then it took me like a second to register what she was saying. And I think she knew because there was like a bit of a pause from me just registering. And also because I'm tired. So like, you know, I'm very slow right now. 
But okay, so I'm gonna wash my face and then I'm gonna put some makeup on, make myself look alive because I look really dead right now. And then I'm gonna go out and get some shampoo, some body wash, and I, I'm definitely gonna need a face wash. And, and yeah, find some food. I am here at Buckingham Palace and it is so busy. Oh. I just got rained on really hard. Um, thankfully, I brought my rain jacket, but I forgot to bring my umbrella. When I left my hotel, it was like bright out. to the next attraction. I am walking towards Westminster Abbey. It's like the telephones. There was one empty and then all these people came right when I brought my camera out. There's Westminster Abbey, you can't see it. There's the Big Ben. picture with that no thank you I'm good it's crazy here it's so busy there's so many tourists and I'm one of them this is a very London picture This is so touristy. <laughs> this is so touristy here. I want to leave. I don't like it. I think I'm going to jump on the tube and go to a different area because I am. I'm done with this. <laughs> Too much people. It's so touristy. This part is a bit better because it's less compact. But oh, down there by the Big Ben, way too many people. Way too many people for my liking. Ooh, what's that? Cool. So I am now going to the food market. I think. 
remember what it's called. South Bank. I'm gonna find some food there. Feeling a little hungry. I am now at South Bank of South Bank Center and there's a bunch of like food and vendors. I'm gonna check it out, see if there's any food that I can eat for dinner. If not, then I am gonna head back to the Soho area because there is um, two dessert places that I want to try in Soho, so. I'm gonna go and check this out, see what's up. Oh, okay, so I feel better now in like this like non-busy area where I was earlier at the Big Ben. It was so touristy. I didn't like it. I just felt very, I don't know, was it claustrophobic maybe? Oh, it smells so good. It smells amazing. I want to get some like dessert. We have Indian here. What's this? We got waffles. I feel like I want to go where the lineup is. That's where you know it's good. We have Korean barbecue. So this is what I got. I got the chicken. Ardina, I think it's called. It is a cornbread. And then you have avocado cheese, plantains, um, some salsa, and the shredded chicken. And then we have the tempura sweet potatoes. Looks so good. So I don't know how I'm gonna do holding the, the wrap, but let's try sweet potato it's not bad I like it I'm gonna eat it it's already cold okay that bite is better it's really crunchy the seasoning is really good sorry this angle is really weird I still feel very awkward while filming there's lots of people walking by. <laughs> Not like this. Nope. I'm gonna try the, the chicken. It's really salty. But it's good. It's kind of salty. But I don't think I can eat it. It's so wide. Like how am I supposed to fit that in my mouth? I don't think it's gonna work. I don't know. I don't know. I don't get it. What do I do? I don't know how to eat this. Mm. I forgot my digestive pills at the hotel. I forgot my umbrella. I forgot my head headphones, earplugs, earplug. No headphones. Ivy uh, FaceTimed me earlier, but I didn't have my headphones, so. Strangers were just listening in. Oh, forgetting everything today. Closer. No. <gasps> no. Okay, it's gone.
This is really hard to eat. Look at the mess I made. Oops. But the fries or the sweet potatoes are really crunchy, really good. And this thing is really hard to eat. I have to like eat what's inside of it to kind of make it smaller so I can eat it kind of like a like a sandwich in a way. But yeah, not bad. So I thought that maybe they just filled the outer part with food and nothing inside, but actually inside it's like stuffed with cheese. That's crazy. I don't think I'll be able to finish this all, but I'm gonna finish what's out here. Try to finish most of the sweet potatoes. I am down in the subway right now, I'm making my way back north to go back into the Soho area. I am then gonna go and check out Primark, which is like a clothing store. Look at the lighting. The lighting is terrible. It's the hotel lighting. I did a lot today. I feel like I did too much. I'm so tired. To summarize what I did today, I for the first day, I went to two different like grocery stores to try to find shampoo, body wash. Found it at a second location. And then after that, I went to Buckingham Palace and it was so packed and apparently i just missed uh king charles but whatever that's okay and then i went to go see the big ben the london eye didn't really care too much for those it was super packed there very touristy um just you know just people just stopping right in the middle to take a picture when there's so many people like walking and then you saw in the footage I was walking in um, Soho and I went to go pick up um, some Cafe de Nata. I've seen many YouTube videos talking about this being really good so I brought this home for the dessert tonight. Um, yeah, and you saw in that footage, there were so many people out on the streets. And that's the thing with, um, with, I guess, London or Europe, where people just, like, hang out on the streets. They, like, bring their alcohol out there and they just socialize there, which is really cool. And that was really interesting to see how busy it was and just everybody just standing around and or just people walking by. But yeah, let's do a taste test of these Cafe de Nata. So they're basically like Portuguese tarts. Aww. So I got the original. I got raspberry and this is apple cinnamon. So very interesting. I think I am going to try the original first just to see how that tastes. Let's give... This one a try, the original. It's super flaky, as you heard in that crunch. Wow. And the filling, it's like super filled. I've had like Portuguese tarts where the, the the pastry part is like super thick and then the filling isn't as great but like the the pastry on this is very thin and there is a lot of filling. 
I might have to bring this back. This is so good. But anyways, I'm just going to relax for the rest of the night. It is now 10, 13 p.m. It's like 5 p.m. in Toronto. So I think I might pop some melatonin in. Try to get a good night's rest because I'm tired. But I'm not tired. Like I, I feel physically tired but my mind isn't tired. I'm so messed up right now.